Ecology means the study of the environment. It means an opportunity to make the world better by showing this is the way it should be, this is the way it could be. Let's see what we got to do to change some things to bring it back to that natural state. The natural systems of the world are what people innately really appreciate. The Ecology Lab has provided a, an opportunity for research that is unparalleled in this country and probably in the world. For 70 years, the University of Georgia's Savannah River Ecology Laboratory has provided an independent evaluation of the impact of Savannah River site operations on the environment. SREL utilizes basic and applied research at all levels of ecological organization, analyzing the ecological impact of missions at Savannah River site on everything from atoms to entire ecosystems. If you go back to Gene Odom, who founded the, the Ecology Lab, he was about the big picture. He was always interested in what all the pieces and parts summarized together really meant to ecosystems and to human health and, and all the rest, and to the planet uh, overall. Dr. Eugene Odom is known as the father of modern ecology. Hired as faculty member in zoology at the University of Georgia in the 1940s, Dr. Odom saw the need to add ecology as a course of study. In 1951, Odom was selected by the Atomic Energy Commission to conduct biological inventories of what was then known as the Savannah River Plant near Aiken, South Carolina, before site operations even began. That decision was extremely farsighted. What is the current state of the ecology in the, the fields, the streams, and the radiation background at this new site before we start building anything. They realized that as uh, radionuclides moved into the environment, we didn't really have an understanding of how they moved from water to soil to plants to animals and then potentially to humans. Known originally as the Laboratory of Radiation Ecology, the lab moved into a facility at SRS in 1961 with Frank Golly named as the first director. Three years later, it became the Savannah River Ecology Laboratory, focused on the mission of investigating the influences of industrial and nuclear activities on the ecosystems at the Savannah River site. Certain kinds of research can be done on the site. It can't be done anywhere else. You have a large landmass that has been, through active management, returned to a relatively natural state. And while everything else around it changed, animals, plants, microbes thrived here. That gives us the ability to look at questions on the same landscape that provide a control where nothing's changed and an experiment where everything changed in terms of the types of, of contaminants and, and other activities that occurred here. That ability to recognize, dive deep, investigate, and value the contrast on the landscape prompted the Savannah Riverside's distinction as the country's first National Environmental Research Park, a protected outdoor laboratory that buffers a Department of Energy site. Today, there are seven NERP facilities recognized nationwide. We showed that nuclear production can be done safely, but we also showed it can be cleaned up afterwards safely. And what we're doing is protecting the general public, protecting them by informing them, and by informing DOE of what problems they have and potential solutions to solve those problems. For 70 years, SREL's enduring commitment to the study of the environment has strengthened the cooperative partnership between DOE and UGA. The Savannah River Ecology Lab, especially in recent years, has helped build a very strong and important relationship between uh, the University of Georgia and uh, the U.S. Department of Energy. They help us with pre- and post-remediation projects. 
uh, including helping us to go to our regulatory community to gain support for decisions that have been made. SREL is not only known as a highly acclaimed research facility, but also has developed a public outreach program that is second to none. We all work with the local communities to help them understand the problems of the site. Building uh, trust and confidence uh, in the community is uh, an important part of uh, SREL's impact. You've got to tell the public what you're doing and that's what the outreach program did. The engaging, informative, and innovative outreach program at SREL was introduced in 1991, focused on commitment to educating the public as well as the scientific community. Currently reaching more than 63,000 people annually, SREL's outreach program enhances citizens' understanding of environmental issues affecting SRS in addition to increasing ecological awareness by featuring local plants and animals and associated research. You almost cannot find a school child uh, who's been here for the last 30 years, who grew up in this educational system, who does not know who we are. They go out and tell our communities about those activities and ensure them that what we're doing here in operational space is safe. Not only are we affecting our local community, but we're also affecting you know, the greater community at whole because when we're publishing our research and the work that we do here, it's reaching the masses. There have been over 3,000 scientific publications that have come out of SREL from the faculty and students and technicians over the years, and uh, they've had a tremendous impact. An impact that has led to an international profile for SREL, garnered more media coverage, and attracted more leading experts to the lab. The most important part of our jobs is training the next generation of ecologists. You can come as a student to this one place and study a variety of different plants, animals, insects, microbes that you might not find in other parts of the southeast. Uh, and you can do it both in a natural setting uh, because of the large buffer area we have here, as well as in a setting where they are potentially uh, impacted by contaminants. Research that has been and will continue to be influential far beyond the boundaries of Savannah Riverside. This is a, just a treasure chest of research and educational opportunities for students, faculty, anybody that's here. This is a jewel uh, uh, in the university's crown. We're proud of the research that goes on here. From its very beginning in 1951 as a field project of Dr. Eugene Odom and his graduate students, the commitment to environmental stewardship and the preservation of sustainable ecosystems was the underlying foundation upon which SREL was built and continues today. Nowadays, there are so many kinds, different kinds of environmental pro problems. I mean, I cannot fix all of them, but uh, I'm happy, more than happy that I'm involved in this team and can fix or help or improve the environment. Knowing that I'm a part of making a difference and doing something greater is what wakes me up in the morning. It's my pleasure to be able to offer congratulations to SREL for a job very well done for 70 years. Congratulations to Savannah River Ecology Lab for 70 years. Congratulations Savannah River Ecology Lab for 70 years. Thank you for all of the activities that you do, all of the support that you have given us, and we thank you, and hopefully in 70 more years, someone will stand here and say the exact same thing. <laughs>